I'll be ranking all the Final Fantasy Freddy's characters by their speed. I'll be ranking the characters by the games that they are in, because ranking them individually would take way too long and be kind of pointless. So each game will be ranked on how fast each character is, and then comparing them and seeing which game has the fastest characters overall. Also, I'm ranking FNAF 1 to Ruin and not including World or the VR games because those games just feel out of place on this list. So let's get started. Right off the bat, we have some of the slowest characters in gaming. Like, all the baddies move so unbelievably slow, and since we don't know where they start from, we cannot say that they teleport. All the characters just wander around slowly, and not even going for you half of the time. And even the fastest character in this game, which is Freddy, he can be beaten while walking. So yeah, slow, guys, just slow. Okay, Final Fantasy Freddy's 4 doesn't need animatronics with lightning fast speed, because let's be real, you were basically trapped. These guys all move at a slight walking pace, except for Foxy, who runs quite fast from the closet, but he doesn't actually move that fast compared to his FNAF 1 counterpart, surprisingly. Fredbear 2 doesn't actually move that fast, they kind of only run as fast as normal people, and the rest of the cars just slowly walk around. So yeah, pretty slow. Sister Location doesn't really have any super fast characters, however two characters are decently fast and puts this game just a little bit above Final Fantasy Freddy's 4. And those two characters are Funtime Freddy, who can go from standing on the show stage in the breaker room to jump scaring you in like 2 seconds, and Anid, who can straight up teleport to your room. Well, not teleport, but he moves really fast, which is sometimes just insane. However, the rest of the characters are super slow, so that's that. Final Fantasy Freddy's 2 does have some slow characters, but it definitely has some fast characters that can get you really quickly. Mainly Balloon Boy, who basically teleports to you from the you know game area to the left event in like 2 seconds. Foxy, who can kill you in 10 seconds and run down the hall super fast. The puppet is ridiculously fast, but again, none of these characters are as fast as the upcoming games and characters. So this is kind of just like the middle ground in terms of how fast the characters can be. Final Fantasy Freddy 6 features some decently fast characters who can move through the vents really quickly. Considering how bulky some of these characters are, the fact that they are able to move through the vents so quickly is super wild to me, and I gotta say, it's kind of unnatural. But yeah, these guys have a decent speed and are definitely faster than some of the other characters, but definitely not as fast as the top 4. So Final Fantasy Freddy's 1 gets a bit of a default spot because Bonnie is able to teleport. Granted, the amount of space he is traversing isn't that much, but it is canon that he teleports, at least 40 meters anyway. Maybe I'm wrong though. Foxy is pretty fast too, going about 15 miles an hour down the hall, and Freddy on max mode is just fucking insane. But yeah, Chica is slow as hell, and usually these guys don't move that much, so I can't realistically put them any higher. If you have ever played this game, you know that Springtrap can sometimes move at Mach 10 to get to your office. He can move through vents so fast that he can be from the complete opposite side of the building to your office in like 3 seconds, which is way faster than we have ever seen before. And considering Swingtrap is more consistent at moving that fast than everyone else, I think that Final Fantasy Freddy's 3 deserves the number 3 spot. However, the next two games literally break the time-space continuum. Ultimate Castle Knight being this high is kind of cheating because there's just so many characters, but some of these characters are just stupidly fast to the point that they literally seem to teleport to you. Funtime Foxy especially just teleports to you from the other side of the building the second you miss their showtime. Some characters just appear out of nowhere, which means that they've either appeared out of thin air or teleported from somewhere else, but I'm not counting those as speed feats because we don't know their starting position. However, most of the characters are kind of slow. Except for a couple that are decently fast. Some characters like Funtime Foxy, Toy Freddy and Chica are really fast and able to move at least 10 to 20 meters in like a millisecond. So for that I have to put UCN here. This game, being at number 1, is due to one character, Freddy. Since teleportation does not exist in Final Fantasy Freddy's, even though I've mentioned it multiple times, it must mean that the characters move at Mach 10 speed, in which case Freddy is absolutely the fastest character from any Final Fantasy Freddy's games. He can zoom across the entire pizza plex in about, I don't know, like a single second, which would put him at some absolutely ridiculous speeds. Man is covering so much ground, and not only is Freddy moving this fast, the three other main animatronic threats are just as fast, although Freddy easily takes the cake for fastest as he's the most consistently fast. Moon is also quite fast too. Jesus Christ, this is insane. Well, there we are. Just kind of a short joke video, but I hope you enjoy it. Let me know who you think the fastest is, and make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10k by my birthday, so make sure that you subscribe. Have a good day guys, and I'll see you in the next video.